All right, all you Streetlight Crusaders, and I guess a couple of you insomniatic video gamers out there tonight, welcome back to the Tuesday Night Special. And we've got some good and cool news to mention that we forgot to mention during the IndieCade Triple S Deluxe that the IndieCade Festival for this year, due to the COVID-19 virus, is open to everybody. Which means everybody can submit a game in worldwide for indie games for this year's festival. So that means we're not only gonna get games from the United States, we're gonna get it from all around the world. And submissions are open until June 1st of 2020. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what sort of cool games you guys and gals out there got coming down the tubes for this year's IndieCade Festival that will take place as of October 14th of this year. And the maestro corrected me by saying the 16th to the 24th, but either way, we are really excited and we can't wait to see your games. So good luck out there! And besides that miniature news report that I think went a little bit longer than what we thought when we were gonna transition to this part of the show, I think it's time for us to go into one of our favorite parts of the show. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, none other than the Indie Report, which is me giving you guys two news stories, technically three with the one in that intro, followed up by local content information from local artists performing locally live near you. And in our first news story, and in wrestling news, unfortunately due to Sami Zayn's inability to defend the Intercontinental Championship, it's been announced as of this week that Sami Zayn has been relinquished of the Intercontinental Championship, and it is now vacant, and superstars will be competing on SmackDown in a tournament to decide who's going to become the brand new Intercontinental Champion. And the seeing the fact that the last time that Sami Zayn defended that championship was well over the 30 day mark, it certainly makes me wonder why in the world does Andrade Cien Almas still have the United States Championship if we're going under those rules. Because he hasn't defended the belt in well over... Oh wait, yeah, never mind. He defended the belt last week against Apollo Crews and it didn't go too well. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Well, here's hoping in the near future for this tournament that they not only involve stars from SmackDown, but also Raw and even NXT, seeing the fact that Drew McIntyre is taking on King Corbin next week on Monday Night Raw, I really do hope they decide to extend the invitation for someone to hold on to that coveted championship across all three brands. Yeah, cause I got a feeling it would be pretty cool to see. And with that said, folks, if anybody want to figure out who's going to be involved in this said tournament, because I got a chance by the time we report on it, it's going to be for Under the Radar, you can go ahead and check it out on the WWE's website, only known as WWE.com, to check it out for yourselves. Or even on their YouTube page, which is named the same. Yeah. And in other news and in sad news from the world of comedy and television, Jerry Stiller, the father of Ben Stiller, unfortunately died this week at the age of 92 years old. And for those who don't know who this guy is, he played the role of Frank Costanza, the father of George Costanza, during the classic TV show of Seinfeld, and was also involved during the comedy series of, I do believe, The King of Queens, which I watched that more than I did watch the show of Seinfeld. Even though it came on in the wee late hours of the night, I usually watch the infomercials instead. But during the show of Seinfeld, he would provide probably one of the greatest blooper reels you would ever see in the history of the show, which actually involved Elaine and Frank Costanza in an argument during the classic episode of The Little Kicks. 
and still to this day considered as one of the funniest things I've seen and I had a chance to see it just the other day, it still holds its weight and I can see why in the world it was so funny, especially when he came up to the camera and said, you want a piece of me? Like the expressions the man was giving during that was absolutely hilarious. And with that said, folks, we here at the Tuesday Night Special would like to say on behalf of Frank Costanza, may your work live on forever, and may you forever rest in peace. And with that sad news story out of the way, folks, we now try to move on to happier things, which is some of the concert information that's going to take place for this week. And we kick things off with Wednesday, May 13th, where you can see Nicholas Beard and the Nicholas Beard Quartet, who's going to be performing at the Brownstone in Patterson, New Jersey. At 1 p.m., Nancy Malkoon, who's going to be performing at the Exit Zero Filling Station in Cape Bay, New Jersey. At 5 p.m., Dan Barry is going to be performing at the Mad Batter in Cape May, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Paul Anaka is going to be performing at the Hackensack Mirrodin Health Theater at the Count Basis Center of the Arts in Red Bank, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., I wonder why they didn't say the Count Basie Center for the Arts instead of that whole long title that almost tripped up my words. Well, I guess they had to get the whole thing out there. Well, anyway, folks, the next band we have up is the Colossal Street Jam, who's going to be performing at The Saint in Asbury Park, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., John Canavo is going to be performing at the American Spirits Roadhouse in Asbury, New Jersey. At 8 p.m., and to finally wrap it up for Wednesday night, you can see Random Test Reggae Band, who is going to be performing at the Jamaican's Food and Drink in Red Bank, New Jersey at 9 p.m. And on Wednesday, May 14th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you live. Nicholas Beard and the Nicholas Beard Quartet is both going to be performing at the Brownstone in Patterson, New Jersey. At 1 p.m., huh, performing at the same place they did yesterday at the same time. Not bad. Anyway, next band we have up comes from none other than Maura McKinney Mastro, who's going to be performing at the Crescent View Center in Voorhees, New Jersey. At 2 p.m., the receiving end of Sirens and Envy the Coast. Nice band names. It's both going to be performing at the Starland Bar Room in Sayreville, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Chris Yoder is going to be performing at the Crap Trap in Summers Point, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., you can also see Wilhelm Scream, Dune Rats, and Mila Colin, who's all going to be performing at the Asbury Lanes in Asbury Park, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Touch of Grey is going to be performing at the Hilton Short Hills in Short Hills, New Jersey. At 6 p.m., Lost Romance is going to be performing at the Crow's Restaurant and Brew Pub in Sparta, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., Firewind, Symphony X, and Primal Fear is all going to be performing at the Bergen's Performing Arts Center in Inglewood, New Jersey. At 7 p.m., you can also see the Dark Star Orchestra. Nice orchestra name. Who's going to be performing at the Count Basie Center for the Arts in Red Bank, New Jersey. At 7 p.m. See, they abbreviated in this one, but yet for Wednesday night they didn't. Kind of makes you wonder. 
well, besides that, folks, to wrap it up for Thursday night, you can see the Dead Beads, Uncle Acid, and the Dead Beads, Uncle Acid and the Twin Temples, who's all gonna be performing at the House of Independence in Asbury Park, New Jersey, at 8 p.m. So Uncle Acid's gonna be performing with two separate bands that night. Not bad. <laughs> and for Tuesday for next week, which is the 19th, you can see these following bands performing in a local area near you, live! Efrat is gonna be performing at the Highland Grove Preschool in Fords, New Jersey at 10 a.m. You can also see Nancy Malcoon, who's gonna be performing at the Boiler Room at Congress Hall in Cape May, New Jersey at 5 p.m. The band with no name, yet what a place still to perform. It's going to be performing at the Tribe Lounge in East Orange, New Jersey at 7 p.m. Solomon J, nice band name, is going to be performing at the Resorts Casino Hotel in Atlantic City, New Jersey at 7 p.m. DJ Remixer JRS is going to be performing at the Lit 21 in Newark, New Jersey at 8 p.m. And to finally wrap it up for Tuesday for next week and all the bands we're going to mention for this week's show, you can see Alien Ant Farm, Eve 6, and Potty Mouth, who's all going to be performing at the Asbury Lanes in Asbury Park, New Jersey at... 8 p.m. And if you guys want to check out the complete list of bands that we couldn't list during this very broadcast, and trust me folks, there were a lot of them, you can head on over to ReverbNation.com to check out the complete list of bands that we couldn't list during this very broadcast. And like I said at the end of all of these skits, go out there, support your local artists, and see these guys perform live. And trust me, they'll love you for it. And I guess with that said, we might as well head back to this music one more time. And when we return, we'll be back with the final segment for the Tuesday night special for this week, right after this. So don't go anywhere just yet, folks. And stay tuned. 